Okay, in this example, we want to figure out the equation of a given line here, and uh, there it is a little bit better. We'll bring it back over in just a second. So our answer choices are A, y equals negative 1 half x minus 6, B is y equals 2x plus 3, C is y equals 1 half x minus 6, and D is y equals 1 half x plus 3. So a couple formulas to remember in, in this case to use. We have y equals mx plus b, and this is the equation of a line. And to, to uh, find the equation to use this, you need to know the slope of the line. And the value b represents the y-intercept. Okay, well, the y-intercept is basically given to us because um, the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis, and it's crossing the y-axis at the point, at the uh, y-value of 3. So our y-intercept is going to be equal to 3. So again, our b-value, again, b represents the y-intercept, that's going to be 3. So already I know that my equation is going to look like y equals mx plus 3. So the only thing that I really have to figure out at this point is the slope. So a couple different ways to get the slope. One you could you could count, you could do rise over run. Another way to do it is to to use the, the, the formula to calculate slope. It says if you know two points on the, the line, we'll call them x1 and y1 and x2 and y2. It says if you know two points on the line, we can do y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Well, I've got two points on the graph. One of the points, the y-intercept, that's going to be the point 0, 3. So I don't move anywhere along the x-axis, but I go up 1, 2, 3 units. Another point would be this x-intercept that I see over here. So that has coordinates. Let's see, we go uh, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. That's going to be the x-coordinate. The y-coordinate, since we don't go up or down, uh, is just going to be equal to 0. So those are my two points. I can think about this as being x1, y1, x2, y2. So using my formula, I'm going to have 0 minus 3. So again, that's my y2 minus y1. And then x2 minus x1, that's going to be negative 6 minus 0. 0 minus 3 is going to be negative 3. Negative 6 minus 0 is negative 6. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. 3 divided by 6, well, that reduces to 1 over 2. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so that's how I'm simplifying that. So now all I have to do is just substitute that in, and we will have our solution. So y equals 1 over 2 multiplied by x plus 3 will be the solution in this case. And I believe, let's see, 1 half x plus 3, that's going to be answer choice D. The other way to get the, the slope without using you know, the formula, as you can count, is they say use rise over run. So notice, you know, if I start at this leftmost point, um, well, I shouldn't say leftmost, but I, the, the, the dot that I'm using, this x-intercept, it basically says, okay, let's think about how we would get directions to this other point. Well, I can go up one, two, three units. So my rise, my rise would be three units. I've gone up positive three units, positive being in the up direction. And then to get to my other point, I would go over one, two, three, four, five, six units. So again, I'm going in the positive direction because I'm going to the right. So my run is six. So again, three over six, that reduces to one half. And that's what we, again, calculated the slope of the line to be. So another way to get the slope. One other remark, one other thing to remember, if your line is going up as you move to le left to right, it has to, the, the slope is always going to be positive. It's always going to be positive. So I know just based on that fact, since it's moving up as I go left to right, I know that answer choice um, A simply can't be correct. The y-intercept, that's easy to pick out. It's just 3. So I know at that point it either has to be answer choice B or answer choice D. So if I was really running out of time and didn't have you know, a chance to compute all this, at least I would have it narrowed down to 2, and uh, I could make a guess really quickly.
got a 50-50 chance at that point at least.